y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm ryan aka the inlet empress um today i'm going to be showing y'all how i did this clean makeup look this is the look that's kind of been trending right now on instagram on tiktok on pinterest the natural clean makeup look which was something i was already doing so i really like that it is coming back into fruition and just getting a little more popular because this is this is my specialty okay this is my specialty please remember to like comment subscribe and we're just gonna get right into the video okay so i'm gonna start with my primer and i usually don't use primers but today i'm gonna be using my sephora all day hydrator which is basically like a moisturizer that also acts as a primer so that's what i'm going to start with and i'm just going to put a little bit on my hand and just make sure i get it all in the four corners of my face i feel like a hydrated canvas is really kind of like a staple point for this look because it's supposed to look very natural, very radiant. And then I'm just putting my lip balm on so my lips can be ready and moisturized throughout the whole look. I'm not going to be using any foundations for this look. I actually did this look a while ago. This used to be kind of like my staple look. So I'm going to try it again and see how this actually manifests itself as the clean, minimal look. But I'm really just going to be using all concealers, not any foundations. So I'm going to start with the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener in Deep Butter. And I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit and put some under each eye and I'm going to use my finger to um, blend that out. I really love this product and how it blends out. I actually really love a bright eye which is something else that I feel like is actually a staple of this look to have just really fresh and bright looking eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with my NC45 MAC Studio Finish Concealer and just get this on all of my dark areas, my dark marks. So mainly around my cheeks, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. This is a full coverage concealer. So this one and... The another color that I have, my NC42, are basically going to be like my foundation without actually using one. So I'm just going to tap on those dark areas. And this is also already kind of starting that contour effect. deepening the sides of my cheeks. Then I'm gonna go in with my NC42 in the MAC concealer, the same concealer just in NC42. And I'm going to focus this one a little more under my eyes. Putting it right here in the middle of my forehead and down the nose, around my nose. Now I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just blend all of this out. Starting at the corners of my eyes and outward. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and brighten up those eyes even more because I just love a bright eye. And I just really think it's just a staple in this look. I'm also gonna bring it down the nose and just a dab on the forehead, just a little dab. Because a little bit of this concealer goes a long way. And I don't really like too much product on my forehead. I'm going to go back in with that concealer brush and blend this out just for a little bit more coverage. Now I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and just blend that out a little more. Really just press it into my skin. So another thing that is also like really a staple of this look is nice rosy cheeks so I'm going to go in with my elf putty blush in Bora Bora and just start like a base for the rosy cheeks and I love blush I love a rosy cheek I used to hate too much blush but now I feel like because I already kind of I already kind of have like naturally red cheeks so I kind of like to accentuate that a little more I'm gonna put a little more because I just really like a blushed look I really do and I'm also just going to add a little bit to my eyelids, just while we're here. I'm going to start setting the concealer, so I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Banana. I'm going to use another beauty blender, and I'm going to just like take some, and then just like pat it down onto this lid to press it into it. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Brow, what is this? My L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Pencil. Natural fluffy looking brows is another staple of this look. And honestly, all these things that I'm saying I feel like are not even like staples of just this look. I just feel like this look is just where we're headed right now in makeup. keeping it a lot more natural and saving the glam. And then over my brows, I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in clear, just to set them, but not give them any extra color.
my bronzer i'm using my favorite fenty beauty bronzer in bahan gal been using it it's just the staple at this point i literally haven't tried another bronzer since i got this one it just does what it's supposed to do for me So I add just a little bit of brown eyeshadow with this angled flat brush just to give my eyes a little something something. Just a little bit of extra but very minimal. Okay so now on to more blush because I love blush. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me in Berry and just a little bit because this blush is very pigmented. A little goes a long way with this blush. gonna add a little bit just to my eyes and to my nose right in the middle I'm also going to use my elf monochromatic multi stick to add a little more color but to just highlight a little bit of the area to just kind of give the illusion of a little bit more of a dewy look. And I'm going to take that same bronzer brush and just kind of go over that again so it can pop but not be a little too much. For my lashes I'm going to use my Maybelline Sky High mascara I'm not going to do any lashes for this look mascara will do just fine I like this mascara because I already have long eyelashes they're just kind of wonky and all over the place but they are for the most part long and curly so I just like how this mascara really separates them and just like accentuates how long they are. And if I put this on with the right precision it can look amazing. For my lips, I'm going to use my Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. No lip liner or anything, just the lip oil. my elf stale night micro fine setting mist all right and this is the finished look honestly it is very minimal for like a makeup look it is just very enhanced the skin is enhanced by covering any kind of dark spots or anything the cheek redness is enhanced the brows are enhanced but it's nothing crazy nothing that's like super like you have so much makeup on your face even if it did seem like a long process so i hope y'all enjoyed this look i will see y'all next time